Welcome everyone. Some more classic cuisine from Deutschland. Now, one thing that the Germans are known for are their sausages, uh, particularly bratwurst. Now, here's your classic bratwurst that you'll buy in any store. Um, now, 500 grams is a pound, and usually they don't go by pounds, they go by kilos. A kilo is two pounds for everybody's info out there. 400 grams, a pound would be 500 grams. So it's not quite a pound, and most things you're going to get are in 400, unless you get a kilo of something. So, but there's been some talk here, and of course, bratwurst is made from pig. It's pork, which uh, is something that is um, the main meat in Germany. Uh, Spain eats more pork than anybody, uh, but you can get everything here. But instead, beef is very expensive, so you see lots of pork. So when you go and roast something on a barbecue and so forth, well, you'll see cuts of pork that are cut like steaks and other things. And, of course, I'm not sure how much sausage and kraut is eaten. There is a famous dish, the dish that is pretty much uh, synonymous with Germany now and has been for some time. Of course, there's some of the classic dishes, uh, which are sauerbraten and uh, so forth. But there's always been a bratwurst or sausage dish. Uh, the Germans are known to eat lots and lots of potatoes and onions. And there even is an onion pie, which is quite delicious. Uh, but here's a typical, and let's show you what you typically get here. Now, here's a typical package, and there is five in here. And um, what I wanted to show here is that, you know, it's a typical disinformation that you get everywhere. I saw a noted nutritionist from Southern California working with the East West Institute doing some info commercial. And they were talking about the evils of sugar. And this is true. If you tend to eat sugar, sugar stops the burning of fat. So if you eat something sugary, it's going to stop the burning of fat. So it's going to, um, by doing such, when you eat fats or you eat sugars, it's going to turn into fat. And this is one of the claims of why Americans are so fat. Of course, everybody is fat, and there are huge amounts of fat Germans, fat British, fat everybody. So it's kind of a misnomer. Uh, Americans tend to be fatter because food is cheaper and you eat out a lot. So uh, there is a quantity problem in America. Not necessarily the foods are very similar, but there's a, that's a whole nother discussion. But they stated in this info commercial by this top uh, Asian physician who worked out of the East West Institute, a division of UCLA Healing Institute, uh, that uh, the Germans weren't that fat because they didn't put sugar in their sausage. To think that that's all Germans eat, but I don't know how much of this is eat or not. Who's an average whomever? If you go to the store, there isn't stacks and stacks of sausages that outweigh uh, everything else. Or for that matter, pork. They have everything, including, even with the higher cost, lots of actual beef. The beef is kind of bad, though. Um, but they have lots of beef, and people buy it. Lots of chicken, lots of turkey. So it's really not true in lots of fish. Uh, certainly, there's a lot of pork as well, but it's not necessarily predominant. But let's look at this. 98% now fleisch is meat. Pig meat, 98%. What's the next? And everything is listed in the amount. Okay, after that, Salt. And what is the next? Dextrose. Ooh, sugar, baby. So the fact is, is you've been lied to again. Everything's lies. Everything's misinformation. We're living in the facade reality. What's on the outside, Thor? Uh, that's what the world is. Uh, also, what's the urban legend? You know, it's hilarious. Um, then we go into uh, spices. That's a preservative, people. Antioxidant preservatives. Guess what? They put sodium nitrates and nitrites in everything like everyone else. And you'll see them listed here. And all the meats, uh, the luncheon meats, the sausages, all have sodium nitrates and nitrites in them. This is just the way it is. So... Um, so if you look on the packages, as he said, the preservatives there, which they um, don't 
list is thoroughly, but it's all in here. These are the spices, but there are preservatives in here, and obviously there is. There it is, baby. Dextrose, otherwise known as sugar. Now, I don't know how much more Americans put in. It's hard to say. But there certainly is plenty of sugar in here and preservatives and all the other things that go with it. So this is your typical package. This is what you're going to get in all the supermarkets. There isn't very many manufacturers in Germany. So one company that, uh, or the there's several companies that make sausages and other things. Well, they all kind of work together and uh, they feed the food chain. So there isn't a, a huge diversity as you'll find in a huge country like America. So this is your typical package. This is what bratwurst look in bratwurst land. And of course, it's good. And I'm going to show you the uh, the main German food right now that's been around for years. I think the late 50s is when it was introduced. It's called curry wurst. Now, wurst just means sausage, so curry sausage. But what is curry sausage? Well, you would think, and I would think, that you would put curry inside the sausage. No, curry wurst, um, which Germans think is the height of cuisine, is nothing more than a sauce and a basically it is a super sweet ketchup that you mix curry in with and you can make your own curry worse by just getting ketchup getting a bottle of curry and uh, mixing it in with some of the ketchup and then putting it on your bratwurst that's curry worse now curry worse sauce is a little more complicated than that as i said it's a super sweet uh, tomato sauce uh, with curry and other spices mixed in. And we're going to show you that. We're going to actually even show you curry wurst. I'm going to make a curry wurst in my next video here and show you what it looks like, and I'll show you the bottle. I'll also show you how you can make your own curry wurst. The problem is Americans don't like curry as a general rule. I used to eat it occasionally and go to some uh, nice Indian restaurants because they tended to have a lot of vegetarian foods. And good Indian food is delicious. Even good Indian beer is good, uh, which we'll be showing you in the near future as well. But generally, it hasn't caught on in the United States very much. It's very big in Europe. The British eat a huge amount of curry. They have a lot of Indians, obviously, who have relocated there. Um, and it's a big deal in England. And they have a lot of curry flavors. They have curry potato chips. They have curry this, curry that. So curry is very big in uh, Europe and something that is followed. It is not popular in the United States. Um, and curry itself is kind of a specialty item or somebody from India would be someone that actually uh, would be eating it more. But, you know, again, you should try it. I like a good curry. Now, the sauce I'm going to show you here, you can buy most of these things in um, different import stores as well. There used to be Pier 1 Imports and a few other import stores in the United States. Who knows who's out there now? Uh, but they all had their little gourmet food sections, and you generally can find curry wurst ketchup if you want that. Heinz even makes a curry wurst ketchup, and you can find this in some larger supermarkets. Um, so it's out there. It's something to try if you like curry, or you can make your own, as I'm going to show you. Uh, but curry has a nice flavor. Again, it's one of those things that's kind of different. And being different, you know, you should try it. What does curry worst do? Don't talk about something if you know nothing of it. Don't say you like it or hate it when you don't know anything about it. That is your personal opinion. And it really has no value except to you. There are standards of good. Filet mignon, the most uh, expensive cut of beef, is expensive for a reason. It is the best. Don't tell me hamburger is best because you like it. Steak is filet mignon. That's the tender, most flavorful cut. Now, you may not like it. Maybe you like a burger. Maybe you like chicken, whatever. But that's your personal taste. There is a scale of what's good. And what's good is what's good. It doesn't matter where it comes from. It doesn't matter what tradition it is. It's good because it's good. So I hope you've enjoyed this little trip to another world, and it's expanded your consciousness. This is how you reach Gnosis. This is how you grow up, by exposing yourself. Stupid people don't know anything about 
anything but their own little world. They drink the same stuff. They eat the same stuff. They think the same way. They're the same low-level morons that you're going to meet anywhere, everywhere. Just like people who are always into getting drugged or having sex. How boring are these people? Well, they really reach the top, and you'll find these people also are boring in everything else. So until next time, we'll journey into another far-off land of adventure.